Hey guys, welcome back. We have yet another pig in the trap. And we have the GPS tracker version 3.0. So the version 2.0 didn't do so hot. Uh, Chris and I recovered that from uh, in the thickest brush. Uh, the pouch we had was a technical pouch, basically the weakest point in that thing were the seams in the back or the stitching that just came apart, pouch f fell off, and the pig was nowhere to be seen. Now this one, I tried myself here in the uh, stitching the, the webbing on. Um, I used something what's called a speedy stitcher, I think. Uh, seems to be holding up pretty good. I went directly onto the pelican case. Plastic buckles on the other side should do just fine. I mean, ultimately, I think it doesn't need to be uh, that strong in this direction. Um, but we've seen with the other uh, pouch that rubbing against stuff. That's probably where um, the issue came from and where that eventually fell off. But yeah, pelican case. Then uh, inside we have the GPS tracker. Uh, this time um, I bought a different charger and made sure that the battery actually charges right and I think it should be good now. This is now a 5000 milliampere battery, just for comparison. That thing usually has an 800 milliampere battery in it, so much, much, much smaller. 5000 should get us hopefully through week easy. He is pretty small, small little bore, um, uh, but I can... Uh, make this fairly tight so right now i can still go a little tighter it should be good so let's try that out worst case if it doesn't work i think i brought another tracker with uh, just a regular one with the 800 milliampere and the regular do uh, color dog color so that would be our backup option um, but i'm hoping that we can uh, make this guy work his neck is pretty small so we'll, we'll find out but um i guess we can go a little smaller on this guy and then uh, see what what it looks like around his neck. You need to make sure it's not too t uh, too small, uh, but also it cannot be too too loose because that's how we lost the last track, I believe. Uh, was dangling off his neck too much or her neck, and then that caused some issues. Yeah, I think that I mean size-wise, I think it should be good. Uh, we might be able to cut this off a little bit or just tuck it in, or we just let let it hang on there. We'll find out. All right. I got some water for that little pig. Um, he's probably been in this since last night. Spent most of the day out here. It's uh, it's pretty cool, so not not sunny and shade under the trees, so it should be fine. But I'm I'm guessing he's thirsty. So let's put some water in here um, and get him to drink some. And then we're gonna grab him, flap him over on the side, attach the the tracker, and uh, hopefully he'll show us where he travels. And I would be interested to see if. The travel pattern with this size of a hog, a boar, is similar to the other one we recently saw. So let's get to work. It's just water, dude. It's just water. Go get it. Maybe I need to move away from it. Go from the other side. Go get some water. Maybe needs to see what it is. This is
How is that? Uh, too loose. Too loose? Yeah. It doesn't get much. Get me my knife. It's in the, or the, in the front console, like in the bottom. Well, any knife would be good right now. Can you hold them? Sure. Trade places with me. Oh, have a look. Sure you can breathe. Yeah. Make me strong, dude. Every time he tries to get up, it's tough. I ain't gonna lie. I don't know how you did that 120 pound. Very carefully. Yeah. Uh, that seems better. I think I'm gonna cut that sure. strap up a little bit. Take that one under his neck spine, that little dangly part. Yeah. Nice sharp knife. How's that now? I think so. What do you think? Two finger? Yeah. Alright. Ed adjust that strap a little bit because it was too big. Curse is kneeing on the hog right now. I think we're just gonna try them loose now. Tracker should be good. Hope it stays on there. Uh, see what data we get. You guys ready? Yep. I didn't need to tip this, I meant to put my foot out just in case it came towards me. So we hung out on that road for quite a while, uh, hoping for some pigs to come in and uh, we watched two deer for a long time, eating probably about five pounds of that corn we dropped on that road. And then to the left we heard some movements and grunting, but at this point the sounds they made uh, sounded a lot like uh, warning and then let's get, get the heck out of Dodge. So those p pigs which came in, and I think it was just five or six, but they Unfortunately, didn't stop for the feeder. That was it in terms of seeing pigs. Now I have this thing again in my hand, and you wonder, didn't you just put this in the pig earlier? Like, yep, yeah, I did. And as you might be able to tell, it's like all muddy and wet. Now, if you look right down here, that is also fairly muddy or this be one of the spots where they came, come through. You can see there's a little bit of a trail. And this was just on the ground. That clip came apart. So as that pig went under the um, that fence, the clip came undone. So, hog tracker 3.0. No good. At least for now, this seems to be the weakest part. 
So the next thing to do would be to figure out if, is there a different way to close this up, is there a different kind of clip we could use, different kind of mechanism to close it up. Um, I even thought technically, you know, I could just use one of the tie-down straps, kind of like the straps you would use on the game camera or something. Um, but I don't think that would be holding up too good either. I think just would would come loose then too. So I need to figure out, uh, get on the interwebs and see if I can find a different kind of uh, locking mechanism for for that strap. I think otherwise it's not the worst design. Can't uh, can't look too closely to my stitching here because it looks horrible. But um, as long as it's holding up, I don't care. Oh, I'm glad we found it again. Luckily it wasn't a property we still have access to. It would be bad if this thing comes off on a different property we don't have access to because it's obviously hard to get to. But uh, I think that's it for the night. Unfortunately no hog tag now and also no hog on the ground. Chris had a son uh, with him today, Caden, and uh, I think he had a blast just uh, messing with the hog earlier and seeing it all up close. First time for Chris to be <laughs> on top of a hog. Yeah. So, so that was a cool experience. Um, yeah, let's take a closer look at that tracker uh, once we're back home. I'm going to show you guys um, what I have so far in terms of the battery hookup, the case, and everything. Um, those uh, LiPo batteries are a little bit of a pain in the butt because you have to get uh, specific chargers which uh, have some overcharging protection otherwise there's a risk those LiPo batteries actually catch fire which is probably not the best uh, best thing to, to happen in the garage while you are not watching so I would recommend one get a LiPo safe uh, battery bag those are little fireproof or fire resistant uh, bags put the battery in there while you charge it so it doesn't um, you have a low risk of catching a garage on fire. Also get a good charger. I don't have a good charger yet, but it's coming in the next few days, I think. And then I'm gonna hopefully have a somewhat complete setup I can I can uh, uh, show you guys. And then maybe you guys start tracking these hogs. Uh, because I find it fascinating. So if somebody starts doing that too, I'd like to see um, what you guys are getting in terms of data and range and so forth. So, anyways. Let's wrap this up for tonight. Uh, appreciate you guys watching and see you guys next time. Maybe if you can distract them and I can get distracted, they look good. Don't let them bite, okay? Yeah, man.